What's up, everybody? So we have our defective Forge World tank uh, at least tacked together. So we know how everything fits. We know everything's not curved. You know, we got full range of motion. Uh, something cool happened, though, in the middle of this project. When I got to the magnetic phase and I said, obviously, I want to magnetize this thing on here, I started looking at my assortment of magnets. And I learned something today. You don't always need a bigger magnet. You would look at a tank like this and you would say, yeah, obviously, you know, for something like this, you would want like the bigger, you know, five millimeter magnets or whatever instead of three. Um, <clears throat> and actually what I found, let's see, there's just a tiny little magnet in there, right? And same size on the bottom here. The thing is, this magnet right here is double or triple stacked. Like I dug that hole pretty deep. And I actually put a couple, a few of those magnets down in there and stacked them up. And you would be surprised at how well this works. Uh, I mean, it's on there good, right? Yeah, nice full range of motion. Nice and fluid, right? Here's what I didn't expect. I did not think that it would hold this well. Um, and I thought that I was just going to have to redrill that hole and make it bigger. But check this out. Oh, oh, that's right. It's holding that turret. It is holding that turret. And I can also kind of move it. It takes both hands. But yeah, it's holding the turret upside down. I'm not going to do a shake test on it, but that is pretty awesome for smaller magnets. It works out very well. So word to the wise, you don't always need a bigger magnet. Uh, not when you can stack your magnets up and get a little bit more strength out of them. Sometimes that's all it takes. Worked out well so far with this build, and I'm pretty happy about that. It's about the only thing I'm happy about, this build. Uh, still waiting for Forge World to get back to us on the broken part of it. I'm still wondering why the hell they haven't even just sent out a new one in the mail already to actually protect their brand and stand by it, but who knows? Anyway, I'm on to planning on how to fix uh, the broken side of this thing with some body work, and then I'm going to start thinking of a color scheme. Yeah, a color scheme for heavy supports and tanks. They don't necessarily have to match, you know, the armor that... Uh, uh, the rest of your army's wearing, um, or it can, it's all up to you. So I really don't know what I want to do with this thing yet. I'm, just, I'm open to suggestions, just not gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying away from gold. Uh, this is like, this is not a custodian force anymore. They, they don't guard anything. They're just out to kill because they're on a rampage because their emperor got killed and they failed. Yeah, these are the custodians that had a mental snap that day. Anyway, I'll think of something cool to paint this. And hopefully by then, uh, I figure out exactly which camcorder I want to get so I can make better videos, get better quality. Um, don't get me wrong, this device is absolutely effing amazing for capturing gameplay, letting me just talk right over it and making all the last cloudy of vids. And that is what this device is for. I didn't expect to even like really have even a functionable, usable. I just butchered both both of those functionable use. I watched too much Trailer Park Boys today. Sorry, some Rickyisms in there. Uh, yeah, so I'm not trying to downplay this device at all. It's absolutely amazing. But I mean, what kind of phone do you uh, or what kind of camera do you expect them to cram into uh, a phone that they literally tried to design? For playing games and stuff like that so it's I'm working with the best that I got right now it is a nice phone it's just not made for this so we are going to upgrade just because we have so many models uh, it'd be nice to get a lens that zooms in on everything really well and then we're gonna talk about like 3d printed models and how you can tell the difference and all that good stuff and I think the big question that I'm getting to myself is could I take my 3d printed stuff to a tournament at like a games workshop how would that play out could some of my models that are completely illegal be used 
you know what? I don't know. I, I've been thinking about it more and more. I even have the PDF file for the rules for their tournaments. I might have to see. I might have to see. Just, just bring my army out there. I'll get to play some games, and I'll see uh, if anybody could pick up on any of my models being not authentic Forge World. I don't think they could pick up on the Terminators. Um, let's see. The Ventari I have. Only half of them are legit, and they have a limited base. It actually says limited. Um, I think I could use this Dreadnought if I just paint him good, because he does have the right Games Workshop base. Uh, these guys, I don't think so. These guys are from a third party, and I don't know. It all depends on the bases that I get, uh, but I doubt I'd be able to use any of these. But, hey, they... They forced me to order these guys since they were sending me broken stuff in the box and I couldn't get a response for them. And the funny thing is, the guy that sold me these for like 40 or 50 bucks, for 10 of them might I add, right? If one of these was broken, uh, I would call him or text him through whatever means. He would just send me a new one the next day. And that's the crazy part that I'm finding is like the black markets customer service is so much effing better than Forge World and Games Workshop. It's absolutely absurd. But we'll talk about all that good stuff later when I can actually zoom in and show you guys the difference between because don't get me wrong, Game uh, Forge World definitely has its ups. Like the models just go together very well, beautifully. Everything fits nice, but. I'll talk to you about all that when we can actually analyze it and look at it. But so far, this huge project is going awesome, and I just haven't been able to share that much of it with you guys. So here's a little cut from today. Peace.